Welcome to MCN. We're taking a look at the Arai Tour Cross 5, the latest version of the firm's popular adventure helmet. Now the Tour Cross 5 was released in October last year to replace the popular TX4 that was a mainstay of the range going back some 10 years. The 5 meets the latest ECE regulations of 2206, as with all new helmets, but we're going to take a look at all the different features and functions that make it safe and practical for everyday use. Now the first thing to talk about when we're discussing our eye helmets is the firm's philosophy towards safety. Key to the design is the smooth round shape, which our eye call the R75 shape, based on the diameter of the curve to that shape. The reason for that smooth round shape is that it gives it glance off ability. That is, when it hits the road surface, there's nothing to catch or cause spinal or rotational injuries. The smooth outer round shell will just glide across the road surface. Now, as with all new helmets on the market, the Tour Cross 5, or TX5 to give it its short name, is certified to ECE 2206. That's the latest European standard for motorcycle protective headwear. There have been some subtle improvements to the shape for the TX5, and that includes advancements learned from the RX7, the top of the range FIM approved helmet. So it's got a wider base, and Due to the new design to meet ECE 2206, it's got a reinforced area across the top of the forehead, which is part of the reinforced belt design that's key to all of our eyes helmets now. The shell itself is a complex laminate construction. That means it's a fiberglass weave and it's made to specifications that are only known to the RI technicians. It's worth knowing as a side note, on a recent trip to the factory, People will talk to you about the fact that Arai helmets have a particular smell, as if it's something magic that's made into the lining or the construction. All it is is the resin that they use to bond the fibres together. I mean, it is an amazing smell, but it is that kind of smell of quality and plushness that you get with an Arai helmet. The outer shell is the hard part, and that's the part that deals with the initial impact. Another factor that's key to Arai helmets is the interior, the EPS. That's the polystyrene layer that acts as a cushion inside. Now, in the TX5, as with many RI helmets, it's a three density EPS, and that means that it has a different thickness, squashability for different areas of the head. But what's really special with an RI is the fact that they make it in one piece, regardless of the fact that it has three different densities. And then it's forced into the helmet in that chunk, which means there are no weak points or joins where it could split in an impact. So that's just the real basics of the safety side, but let's talk about the features because that's what makes this helmet really interesting. Now, first of all, ventilation. The TX4 was not short on ways to ship air. The TX5 improves on that and shifts a whole ton of air when you've got all the vents open. At the front, the redesigned chin vent has an open and closed position, which ships a whole ton into the mouthpiece area, and you can then direct it with a vent on the inside either straight in your face or up the inside of the visor to defog. So at the top is a vent taken directly from the Quantic. It's the Arai logo vent that has the tab on the top when it's pushed in. It's got three holes inside that let ventilation through. Open it and it's actually closed. Behind that, we've got a top vent that has two positions, allows air into the top of the helmet. And then at the back, built into the integrated spoiler is a large exhaust port. Again, we've got two-way adjustment on that which lets air out the back of the helmet. Two fixed ports at the back end ship even more air out. So when you've got everything open, the airflow comes through the EPS, through the inner liner, across the top of your scalp, and you can literally feel the wind in your hair when you've got all the vents open. I've used this helmet in Japan, on the roads here. I've used it right through winter and now into early spring, and I can definitely say that the ventilation system is one of the best on any helmet I've tried. And it's one of the reasons I want to keep wearing this, because even on a cold day, you still like to feel that flow of air through the helmet. And on a hot day, there isn't going to be much this side of an open face helmet that's going to beat that wind in your face feeling. Although the predecessor was a fantastic helmet, one of its biggest drawbacks was the fact that you had to remove screws at either side whenever you wanted to change a visor. It's worth saying at this point that there's no drop down visor in an Arai helmet. I've spoken to Michio Arai, president of the company personally, and he said that they'll never fit a drop-down visor in an Arai helmet because it would be a concession to safety. Likewise, anything in terms of integrated comms or other bells and whistles, you will never see them on an Arai helmet because it just doesn't fit with their philosophy. 
So let's look at the improvements that they've made to the visor on this to enable you to be able to change it quickly. Now again, it's had some inspiration from the RX-7 race helmet. So this is how we now change the visor on the TX-5. First thing you need to do is open it to the fully open position. Then at either side, there's a small button which releases the side pods and we take the peak off. With the peak removed, lift the visor to the top and it pops off at either side. Now here's the replacement clear visor. Simply line it up with the mechanism on either side then keeping it in the open position, we grab the peak and it simply clips on at either side and then you just simply push it into position. Okay, so we've looked at some of the creature comforts, but it's the real comfort of wearing it, which is where an Arai really comes into its own. It's got an uber plush interior that's made from several different fabrics to make it just as comfortable against your face and your skin as it can be. The area across the forehead is designed to grip. The area around the cheek pads is designed to slide, and that way it makes it a joy to put on just as much as it is when it's wearing it. Now, one of the key points about the TX5 is the cheek pads. Now these have been designed for a much closer fit along the jawline and that cosseted feeling when you're wearing it is possibly the thing I like the most about this helmet. It makes you feel secure, it makes you feel safe and you genuinely feel that if an accident was to happen that this would be the best place to have your head. One of the drawbacks about this uber plush interior is that it's just a little bit too Velcro friendly. I've found that the cheek pad on the right hand side snags on whatever Velcro I'm wearing on the jacket. Now, this could be user error, but it's just one of those things that you think, perhaps if they'd use the smooth leatherette style fabric on the bottoms of the cheek pads, it wouldn't happen. Just my personal experience with it, but it's just a shame that such a nice helmet and such an expensive helmet is starting to look just a little bit tatty on the bottom of the lining. And of course, another typical RI feature of this is the strap. It's a traditional, double D-ring strap, you can't go wrong. Every time you do one, you tighten it up to the perfect tightness and the perfect comfort, and it's the standard for racing. Now, I have to say, this is one of the best colorways that I've seen any Arai helmet in. Black, white, and red, you can't go wrong, and it's got a lovely sparkle in the paint finish. I had been tempted to customize this one a little bit myself with just some Japanese script on the top, but generally, that's exactly how you're gonna get it in the shop. Now, one of the criticisms that some people have with adventure style helmets is when you're riding them on the road that the peak can cause turbulence, especially in conjunction with a screen. Well, so far, I haven't managed to unsettle this one at all. I've tried it on a range of different bikes, and although it's flexible, it's rigid enough that it hasn't got that resonance from the turbulence from the screen. And the reason for that is that it's got adequate aero and gaps to let all the air flow through. So what that actually does is add to the stability of the helmet in conjunction with the spoiler on the back. So when you keep your head dead level and forward, like you would with a race helmet, it's incredibly stable in use. If you turn it to the side, obviously it does break the aero, but it doesn't catch in the wind. Because it's got all those gaps to let the air through, you don't suffer from snatch when you turn your head to one side. The beauty of this style of helmet, and particularly with the Arai 2 across range, is its versatility. It's essentially got three different ways you can wear it. You've got this method with the visor and the peak. You can remove the visor and wear it with goggles for an off-road lid. Or, and this is actually my personal favorite, is you can remove the peak and run it as a traditional full-face lid. To remove the peak isn't a big deal at all. Arai give you a special tool, and there's a screw either side and it comes away with a small cover plate, which you simply replace on the side pod from where you removed it. It's exactly the same on the other side. So with both cover plates removed, the peak comes off, and with them screwed back in place, it makes a stunning Street Fighter style full face lid. And it's that versatility that really sets the TX5 apart from its rivals. Yes, there are other helmets that have removable peaks. Yes, there are other helmets you can wear with goggles but it's the way that the TX-5 does it and the way that it looks and the quintessentially Arai protection and care that's built into the manufacture of these that really sets it apart. Prices for the TX-5 start $599 for plain colors. Now that's an incredible amount of value you're getting for what is essentially a handmade helmet with the versatility that the TX-5 has. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.